Kevin Benjamin Kolb is an American football quarterback who is currently a free agent. He was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the second round of the 2007 NFL Draft. He has also been a member of the Arizona Cardinals and the Buffalo Bills. He played college football for the Houston Cougars. Kolb attended Stephenville High School in Stephenville, Texas, where he was a three-year starter at quarterback. He moved on to the University of Houston where he earned Conference USA Offensive Most Valuable Player of the Year honors in 2006. Kolb started for two games in place of the injured Donovan McNabb during the 2009 NFL season for the Eagles, and earned NFC Player of the Week honors following his Week 3 performance against the Kansas City Chiefs. Following McNabb's trade to the Washington Redskins in April 2010, Kolb became the starting quarterback for the Eagles. However, after suffering a concussion in Week 1 against the Green Bay Packers, Kolb was replaced at quarterback by Michael Vick. Vick suffered a rib cartilage injury in Week 4 and Kolb was named the starter. When Vick returned after Week 8, Kolb was relegated to a backup role. Kolb was traded to the Arizona Cardinals prior to the start of the 2011 season. Kolb was released by the Cardinals on March 15, 2013. Kolb was arrested for driving under the influence on a boat June 27, 2014. Early years, while attending Stephenville High School in Stephenville, Texas, Kolb became the starting quarterback for the Yellow Jackets during his sophomore year. He was a two-time UIL District 8-4A offensive MVP. His most outstanding year was his senior year, 2002 in which he completed 206 of 321 passing attempts for 3,357 yards and 29 touchdowns, as well as rushing for 197 yards. At the end of the 2002 season, he earned honorable mention All-State and second-team academic All-State honors. College career, Kolb initially committed to Oklahoma State to play college football but rescinded this commitment when Houston hired head coach Art Bryles a former head coach at Stephenville High School. Kolb was also recruited by TCU, Oklahoma and Texas Tech, 2003, one day before the season opener in 2003, Kolb was named the starter in Houston as a true freshman, the first true freshman quarterback to start in the season opener in school history, making his debut against Rice at Robertson Stadium. On September 20, Kolb threw for 321 yards and four touchdowns and went 20 for 29 passing in the 42 a Euro 35 win over Mississippi State. He was named Conference USA Player of the Week for his performance. On October 25, Kolb accounted for over 400 yards passing and 100 yards rushing against TCU in a 62-55 loss to the Horned Frogs, only the fourth time this feat had been achieved in Division 1A. He tied the league record with 578 total yards, and earned Conference USA Offensive Co-Player of the Week honors for his performance. Kolb finished the season with 3,131 passing yards, 25 touchdowns, and only six interceptions en route to a 7-6 record on the year, which ended with a 54-48 loss to Hawaii in the Hawaii Bowl. Following the season, Kolb was named Conference USA Freshman of the Year, 2005. Kolb was named to the Maxwell Award and Davy O'Brien Award watchlists for the second straight year in 2005. After a losing season in 2004, Kolb led the Cougars to a 6-5 regular season record in 2005. He was named the Cougars MVP in the Fort Worth Bowl in a 42-13 loss to Kansas after passing for 214 yards and scoring one rushing touchdown. He finished the season with 3,258 passing yards, and became the school's all-time total offense leader. He earned 13 more Conference USA honors following the season. 2006 Kolb was named to the Maxwell Award watchlist for the third consecutive year in 2006. He was named the Consensus Conference USA Preseason Offensive Player of the Year, and he earned preseason all-conference honors. The 2006 season was Kolb's signature college year, in which he threw 30 touchdowns and only four interceptions on the way to a 10-4 record and a Conference USA Championship. 
He went 22 for 35 for 235 yards and three touchdowns in a win over Rice University on September 2, and was named the Conference USA Player of the Week for his efforts. He was named as a finalist for the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award on November 1. He was named the Conference USA Offensive Player of the Year on November 30. Kolb won the conference's offensive MVP, but Houston lost to South Carolina 44-36 in the Liberty Bowl. He finished the season with 3,808 passing yards, 30 touchdowns and 4 interceptions. Kolb ended his career with 12,964 total passing yards, 5th all-time. Kolb was invited to play in the 2007 Easter Euro West Shrine game on January 20, 2007, and the 2007 Senior Bowl on January 27. Professional career, pre-draft, Kolb was rated as the sixth best quarterback in the 2007 NFL draft by NFLDRAFTscout.com, and was projected to be drafted in the third or fourth round. He hired Jeff Nally and Van McElroy as his agents prior to the draft and they hired former NFL quarterback Jerry Rome to work with Kolb to get him ready for the pre-draft workouts. He worked out with Danny Arnold in Stafford, Texas in February 2007 in order to prepare for the NFL scouting combine. Kolb worked out for the Baltimore Ravens in the first week of April, and followed it up with a visit to the Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles Kolb was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the second round of the 2007 NFL Draft. He was the third quarterback taken in the draft behind J.A. Marcus Russell and Brady Quinn. He signed a four-year, $4.285 million contract with the team on July 25, 2007. Kolb spent 2007 as the third-string quarterback behind Donovan McNabb and A.J. Feely. In his second year in the league, Kolb was promoted to second-string quarterback ahead of A.J. Feely. He played the entire second half of the Eagles game against the Baltimore Ravens on November 23 after an infamous benching of McNabb. Kolb threw an interception in the end zone to Ed Reed, who took it back 180 yards for a touchdown, an NFL record. Kolb completed only 17 passes on 34 attempts for 144 yards throwing no touchdowns and four interceptions during the season. Kolb's first NFL start was a 48-22 loss against the New Orleans Saints at home on September 20, 2009 due to an injury to Donovan McNabb. His first career touchdown was recorded in the first quarter of that game on a 71-yard pass to Deshaun Jackson. He threw for 391 yards on 31 completions. On September 27, 2009, Kolb made his second start in place of McNabb, throwing for 327 yards and two touchdowns in a 34-14 win against the Kansas City Chiefs. Kolb became the first quarterback in NFL history to throw for more than 300 yards in each of his first two career starts. He was named the NFC Offensive Player of the Week after his efforts against the Chiefs. Kolb expressed his desire to be the starting quarterback for the Eagles during the 2010 offseason. Obviously my goal is to be the starter and to start for 16 games and to lead this team as far as we can go. Personally, I don't have a lot of personal goals right now, they are more team-oriented, besides me getting on the field and proving I can take over this thing. Kolb gained many comparisons to the situation Aaron Rodgers endured backing up Brett Favre during his first three seasons. Kolb and Rodgers reached out to one another to share their similar plights. On March 26, Adam Schefter reported that the Eagles expected Kolb to be the starting quarterbacks for the 2010 season. On April 4, McNabb was traded to the Washington Redskins, making Kolb the starting quarterback. Kolb signed a one-year contract extension worth $12.25 million on April 29, keeping him under contract with the Eagles through the 2011 season. In the Eagles' season opener against the Green Bay Packers, the supposed start of the Kevin Kolb era, he was tackled by Packers linebacker Clay Matthews, and sustained a concussion. For precautionary measures, Kolb was withdrawn from the game. After passing a series of tests, he was nonetheless withheld for the game against the Detroit Lions. On September 21, 
Backup quarterback Michael Vick was named the starting quarterback over Kolb for the rest of the season following Vick's win over the Lions. Kolb took over for Vick in a game against the Redskins in Week 4 after Vick suffered a chest injury. Kolb went 22 for 35 with 201 passing yards, one touchdown and an interception in place of Vick. Against the Atlanta Falcons in Week 6, Kolb went 23 for 29 for 326 yards, three touchdowns and one interception, and was named the NFC Offensive Player of the Week following his performance. During the game, Kolb made an illegal horse collar tackle on Falcon safety William Moore following an interception. The Eagles were penalized 15 yards and Kolb was later fined $5,000 by the league, the first time a quarterback was fined for a horse collar tackle. After the 2010 season, there was speculation that the Eagles would look to make a deal for Kolb since Vic was the clear starting quarterback. However, due to the 2011 NFL labor dispute, the Eagles were unable to trade away Kolb. On July 19, 2011, Kolb expressed interest in playing for the Arizona Cardinals, Arizona would be a great place to play. Arizona Cardinals, Kolb was traded to the Arizona Cardinals on July 28, 2011, in exchange for cornerback Dominique rogers Cromartie and a second-round draft pick in the 2012 NFL Draft. Expected to start, Kolb had a decent preseason debut for the Cardinals in preseason play against the Oakland Raiders, going 4-for-7 for, for 68 yards. Among the four completions was a 43-yard pass to wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald. Kolb started his first game for the Cardinals on September 11, 2011 against the Carolina Panthers in the first week of the 2011 NFL season. Kolb was 18 of 27 for 309 yards, two touchdowns, and no picks in the 28-21 win over the Panthers. He also posted a 130.0 passer rating in the game, third best in the NFL in Week 1. However, over the rest of the season, his play markedly deteriorated as the Cardinals lost several close games. Furthermore, he was hampered by various injuries. A foot injury that he incurred in a game against the Baltimore Ravens sidelined him for several games. His backup quarterback, John Skelton, performed ably as he stepped in as one games against St. Louis and against Philadelphia. Upon return from his turf toe injury, Kevin led the Cardinals to a comeback win against the Dallas Cowboys in overtime. The game was memorable for the blunder committed by Cowboys head coach Jason Garrett, who called a timeout to ice his own kicker on a potential game-winning field goal. The ensuing kick after the timeout was not good, and in overtime, Kevin threw a touch pass to La Rod Stevens Howling who ran it into the end zone for the winning score. But in the very next game against the San Francisco 49ers, Kolb was inadvertently kicked in the back of the head early in the first series. He left the game with concussion-related symptoms, and did not return that season. Following a quarterback battle, Kolb lost his starting position to John Skelton for the 2012 NFL season. Following a Week 1 injury to Skelton, Kolb entered the game during the fourth quarter, leading the team on a come-from-behind victory. Skelton was eventually ruled out for the Week 2 matchup against the New England Patriots. Kolb put up impressive numbers and was able to engineer a win. It is widely speculated that Kolb will be the starter in Arizona, assuming he can stay healthy. Arizona was handed their first loss of the season by the 2-2 St. Louis Rams, by a final score of 17-3. Kolb completed just around 50% of his passes, and was sacked nine times. Cole proved his worth to the coaching staff following October 14's matchup against the Buffalo Bills, in which Kolb suffered a rib injury late in the fourth quarter. Skelton began taking snaps for the injured Kolb and was only able to complete two of ten passes with a game-costing interception in the OT period. This injury caused Kolb to miss the following seven games, all of which the Cardinals lost. The Cardinals released Kolb on March 15, 2013 after failing to agree to a restructured contract. Buffalo Bills, Kolb agreed to a two-year contract for $13 million with the Buffalo Bills on March 30, 2013. On August 24, Kolb suffered a severe concussion in a preseason game against the Washington Redskins. 
Early speculation is that this injury may ultimately be a career-ending injury as Kolb has had a history with head injuries, however, Kolb has made statements contrary to this. He was placed on injured reserve on August 30. Kolb was released on March 11, 2014. Career statistics, personal, Kolb married his wife Whitney Huddleston in February 2007. Whitney gave birth to their first child, a daughter named Cameron June, on January 10, 2009, and their second child, a daughter named Etley Rose, was born in April 2010. Kolb majored in business entrepreneurship at the University of Houston. Kolb competes in North Texas fishing tournaments in the off-season. Kolb also enjoys hunting wild hogs in his spare time. It may seem dangerous to hunt with just a 12-inch Bowie knife, but Kolb, assured the public, our dogs go and find him first, and then we stab the pigs. It's a little bit dangerous, but as long as you know what you're doing, you'll be all right. On July 1, 2014, Kolb was arrested in Willacy County, Texas, for boating while intoxicated. See also, List of Division IFBS Passing Yardage Leaders, List of Division IFBS Passing Touchdown Leaders, References External links, Houston Cougars Football Bio